The worksheet you just looked at showed um, a problem of semantic prosody with could. Now, let's see why, or see in fact, that could doesn't have any meaning of success with the other words when it's put together. Um, this is the Longman Dictionary of Contemporary English, which is very useful simply as a dictionary. In fact, if we look at could here, we find past ability, which is the closest one for our problem. Um, but it just highlights the fact that you use it for what someone was able to do or was allowed to do. By the time she was eight, she could read Greek and Latin. In those days, you could buy a box of cigars. Um, look at the examples bank. In the examples bank, we find examples. If you click here, you can see them in the corpus mode. This is very interesting because it puts the keyword at the centre. Now, how many of these sentences can you see that actually refer to the past? There aren't very many of them. In fact, you should have found this one. Eleanor couldn't come last night. And possibly this one. Nobody could tell my hair was dirty. Neither of those have any idea of success in a difficult situation. They both have the idea of something that was possible or impossible in the past. Now let's have a look at manage, a different verb. Manage as a verb. Again, if we just use it as the dictionary, we can find manage for business, or we can find to do something difficult, to succeed in doing something difficult, especially after trying very hard. If we look at the concordance lines, though, Again, this becomes very clear. See if you can find examples here. I'll move it over a little bit. To show this idea of success in a difficult situation in the past. There are quite a few of them. Or even success in the present. I can manage, but... We were looking particularly in the past, so how did you manage while you were unemployed? At least three hostages managed to escape, very similar to our example. He finally managed to find an apartment near his office. So, this is one way in which you can use the dictionary in two ways. Firstly, looking at the descriptions, but then looking at the examples, because when you look at the examples, you can see how the words go together with other words.